stay here. Oh. Recording. You stay there, Tata. Moving into Tata's spot, sitting, looking at Punk. Hello. Hello. Oh wait, is this one? You can you can do it like this or like the professionals. Oh yeah, scoop it. Because the the mic should be towards the the. the throat. Well, or the, or, or the, or the mouth. I mean, throat, uh, well, that's probably more than I know. <laughs> okay, do we need to slate? So. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, how are you doing today, Tom? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Great. Good. Uh, so, I have a few questions for you. Let's go. So, what is your full name? My full name is Andre DeMarco Pauliello. That's in English. In, in Portuguese, it's Andre DeMarco Pauliello. And in Italian, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, uh, where were you born? I was born in London, in the United Kingdom. Uh, by chance, yeah. Uh, both my parents were living there when I was born. Wow. My father used to work for the Brazilian embassy. And I just was born there. Kind of lucky, in a way. But my, my soul is definitely Brazilian, so... That's cool. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, Some so, trivia for you. <laughs> so what is your position on the camera crew? Uh, at the moment, I'm a first uh, uh, camera assistant, which is also uh, called the focus puller. Uh, and I'm mainly in charge of uh, managing the whole camera gear and the whole camera crew. And, but one particular uh, aspect of the job is pu pulling focus. So it's one of the toughest parts of the job as well. Uh, uh, and it's one of the most challenging parts of the job, but it's mo one of the most grat grat gratifying parts of the job as well, because you get to, to put yourself and, and your craft and, and your sensibility and everything else uh, into the movie and it prints out and you, you actually have the opportunity as well to, to uh, shift the, 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 the attention of, the, 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 of, of whoever is watching the movie to whatever subject is in, in the frame so we actually end up doing some creative work as well which is not usually appreciated but I mean uh, that's the point you know if, if we used to say that if we are invisible, no one notices is that we are doing our job well. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so when you're not a first AC, what are you usually doing? You mean like hobbies and stuff? Or you said that maybe you don't. Are you always a first AC? Well, yeah, I, 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 I operate camera as well. But I mean, my main occupation these days is focus puller because that's what I've got booked for more, mostly for. Uh, so I have the, the, the ambition to become a full-time camera operator. Uh, but I, I mean, these days it, it, it's still difficult uh, because it's, it's very close uh, 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 environment, the film industry, right? So some, some jobs, they don't have uh, a, a position for a camera operator because the DP also operates the camera so when you have a, a, a job that has two cameras or more then it, it there is a position for one yeah. but it's not that often I mean back in Brazil uh, so and you, ha you have to be you know friends with the friends and a lot of networking so it's not that it, that that easy to actually uh, become a full-time camera operator so so how long have you been First AC. Uh, my first ever work as a first AC was in a short movie uh, that I collaborated in was in 2006 but then to become a full-time first AC uh, it took me another couple of years to establish myself so but since 2008 I, I've been doing uh, first AC full time, so it's been quite a while. That's cool. Yeah. Um, and so, Anthony, do you have any advice to somebody who wants to be a first AC? Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's my 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 point of view based on my own experience, but it is always a good opportunity to to. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it will help 
anyone who, who's interested in the camera department to first uh, go to the set and work in whatever any other occupation they can so you can uh, understand how a set a, a film set works that helps a lot because when you come into the, the camera department there's a lot of stuff to learn I'm sure you you, you guys that have been to, with us for for almost a month now uh, can quite grasp the, the, the what I'm saying right so in the camera department there's a lot of equipment that you 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 need to get uh, acquainted with so you can actually do some proper work right so this is why most people that that uh, uh, comes into the to the camera department they are usually coming from a different department on, on, on the set why is that because they they come they learn uh, the dynamics of the set and they fall in love with the camera because it's really a magnet right and I think it's it, it, it's it helps a lot if you if you know already how it works how the, the, the dynamics of the set works so you can actually focus in learning how the camera department works so uh, so uh, in, in an essence my, my advice would be uh, if you can if you have the opportunity start from the bottom because you you have the opportunity to learn uh, without too much pressure some it's very uh, very common these days especially that people start with more responsibility that, that they can handle especially uh, if you consider uh, technical aspects of the job like a second AC that hasn't been doing trainee uh, work for for some considerable time they might get uh, overwhelmed and it, this can be also not only dangerous but it can be costly so my advice would be just climb the ladder you'll be a better AC if you do that I mean it's not for everybody and some people do uh, 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 skip some of the some of these positions which is fair enough it depends on, on the talent you have or the knowledge I myself was a second AC not for as long as most people from my generation was but I, I, I came into the market already older and also I studied a lot so I didn't have as much hands-on uh, experience as I wished but I, I, I got all the best books ever you can wish for that you can find on eBay or you can get on, on the cinematographers uh, forums uh, and these are from like, very experienced people that, that shot in Hollywood and, uh, and also in England where there's a, a major industry and, and they can teach you a lot just by, by reading a good book. So my advice is that just study and, and be, uh, be as passionate as possible and you eventually you will, you definitely will succeed. Okay? Yeah, one more question. Okay. No problem? Yeah, let's wait for the... Ellie? Ellie Hansen? Okay, final question. What is your favorite movie and why? Well, I think we covered that before. So for the cameras, uh, if I have to pick one, uh, I, would chase, I would choose Blade Runner. Uh, the first and the original one, right? And basically because the script is awesome, the talent is awesome, uh, and the cinematography is awesome. So I think that there are three very basic ingredients for a film to work, right? And I just mentioned the three. For, for me, the, it has to be a good script, a great talent, and good cinematography. Uh, everything else, I mean, not, not to disdain from, from the other departments, but everything else, uh, it can be uh, not as good and it won't show as much. But if you have just one of these triads that I mentioned, you're definitely gonna, gonna have a, a, a worse movie than, than anyone would expect. So, basically, that's it. All right. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank and you. off we go to the second.